Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome back to Survival Games 2019. I'm giving you the definitive answer based on your votes on my community tab. What are the best survival games? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the building aspects of survival games with two votes, two categories. The best block building survival game 2019 and the best freeform building game 2019. Why have I separated them? Well, it'd probably be a bit unfair. As you can imagine, there's this little game called Minecraft that may just simply walk away with the biggest Prize, but there are definitely some really cool building games out there and I say building games they're of course not they're survival games you're meant to do much more than just build pretty bases but so much of survival relies on either building your base so it's functional so it protects you against creatures or players or making it pretty so you can just come back and enjoy the world that you're surviving in that's why it's such an important category it's why so many YouTube videos are geared and centered around building this video is sponsored by my patrons. They give me the freedom and the opportunity to do this by supporting my channel. Check out the links if you want to do so too. And a big shout out to everyone that contributed and left comments. I will show some comments in the video just like I have done with all the rest of them. Don't hate me, I just chose the categories. I come sometimes maybe mess up, but here are the best build games. Starting with blocks, and then I'm gonna fast forward to the rest of them. So here he is, quickly and briefly. Empyrean Galaxy, only 1% of nearly 3,700 votes. This one suffers from just being something that not a lot of people have heard about as it's only been on Steam and it's in early access five or six years after it first came out. It is a block building game and it's very much a case of being able to go out into space and do what you want. But it's got lots of emergent gameplay and the features that you can build. It's whole spaceships, bases on planets, various different ones to go and explore. That's why I put it in there, because I often get really good feedback about the game. Number four, Pixark with 3%. Pixark is definitely contentious, and I had high hopes this game was going to be big, but there were just so many problems and issues throughout early access and at full release. Multiple months and months without any updates for console, and it's still lingering with so many bugs, broken issues, and content that just still hasn't been released on PlayStation 4 or the Xbox. Pixar does offer a lot more customization and variety in what you can build. There are some really cool features and really cool items, but it lacks the full creativity of something like Minecraft. Maybe some people prefer the fact that it actually has to have stability. You can't just simply put blocks everywhere. You need to actually work out where the foundations are, just like it is in Ark. But that's also one of its biggest problems for me. The fact it's not just a full block game and it is directly lifted from Ark I think goes against it. It's got a small dedicated following and again that's why I popped it in there. I also do appreciate the various different tile sets that you can have. So for kids particularly it's definitely something they'd probably enjoy a lot more. Space Engineers number 3 with 4%. Coming to Xbox next year, Space Engineers again has been an early access game for a number of years, but it finally came out earlier this year. It offers very much the similar properties of Empyrean Galaxy, but in a much more refined way. You can program, you can do all sorts of scripting with Space Engineers. So not only are you making fantastic looking bases, you're actually making them for functional use. Turret guns, big space lasers, you name it, you can build it in Space Engineers. It probably just needs the exposure from being on console and it will place a lot higher if we do this again next year. Number two, seven days to die with 21%. Some people question why this was here. Well, at its heart, seven days to die is a block building survival game. Back when it first got developed in its first alpha, it used exactly the same style voxel programming as Minecraft. It's only over the last few years they've modified that a bit and made the landscapes less blocky so there's something a bit more familiar to what you're seeing. But when it comes to building, that system is exactly like Minecraft still, placing blocks upon each other, but with the added element of a little bit of structural support needed. There's been some fantastic creations made out Seven Days to Die, but I have to say, I don't see as many as some of the other games. Maybe it's the community management that just isn't spot on in sharing some of this stuff, but still some of the best builds I've ever seen have come from my rat bags that I'd done tours with when I was really covering the game. What I really like though about Seven Days to Die though is the base building has a purpose. Obviously defending yourself against zombies, that's the most crucial important thing. And that's why I guess you guys voted it as number two as well. 
It actually serves a purpose as well as having lots of choice in how to build your base. Of course though, number one with 71% of the vote, Minecraft. I won't go on too long, you guys should know what Minecraft is by now, but it's clear that even years after, 10, 12 nearly, Minecraft is still number one game in terms of building and creativity. Does it serve a purpose? No, not as much. Once you've built one shack to keep yourself safe from a few zombies and put some torches everywhere, you don't necessarily need to build anything too complicated. But over the last couple of years, Minecraft has added more and more systems. There is more depth to its crafting stations, and there is definitely a lot more blocks to choose from to build and your creativity can be let go even more without the use of mods. So a worthy winner, if I'd left it out, I'm sure I would have seen a hell of a lot of people complain. And yes, it is a survival game, and you do need to eat to stay alive. It simply is one of the greatest creative sandbox games ever, period, not even just survival. This one was pretty contentious, 3,700 votes again. Rattling them off quickly, Citadel's at number 5, but you guys really like the building in Citadel Fortune Fire. I do too, I think some of the pieces are fantastic. You can really make yourself a lovely, fantastic, amazing looking cathedral, church or fort. But that's all you can do in citadels. The tile sets offer that ability to craft things like big towers, but they don't necessarily give you the freedom to mix and make other structures. But with only 2% of the vote, there's clearly limitations in the game as a whole, not let alone the building. You often can't cross building pieces across each other, and if you go and explore a lot of the servers, you'll often find it's just castle after castle after castle. With good reason though, it is needed. You can go ahead on PvP servers anyway and take down other players' bases. You'll often put magical small obelisks down that will fire projectiles at an enemy's base. So making sure that you're thinking about your base is important, where to put your own turret towers for defense, and exactly where you're gonna have your god bubble to defend yourself. All in all though, the building isn't as accomplished or polished as some of the other games. Number 4, Fallout 76, oh my god, is not the bottom. Now I put this here for a very good reason. It is a survival game, you do need food and water to carry on surviving. And it does serve a purpose. Maybe it doesn't serve as much of a purpose as it could unless you're playing the survival beta, but Fallout 76 does have some pretty unique base building properties. The ability to pack up your base and transfer it anywhere you want is a real plus point that I wish a lot of other games could take with them. Sure, they're nickel and diamond people with the Atomic Store, but the base game Fallout 76 still offers some fantastic pieces to build with, and for particularly players that love a bit of roleplay or just feeling like they've got a base that is theirs, there's plenty of stuff that you can fill with it, not to mention a whole bunch of all the collectibles that you can find in the world. If they ever decide to make the survival beta actually full part of the game, I think I'd be down for playing it a lot more, as that's what I thought I was really originally signing up for, Fallout 76 with Rust flavours, and that would have made base building even more important, but you can't take away the shit state of the game, and that's maybe why only 5% of you voted it as the best game to build with. Number 3, No Man's Sky with 8%. Again, I'm a bit sad this didn't get much more votes. They've done a lot to improve the bases in the last year. Adding the ability to blueprint them and copy them and take them to other areas was one of the big updates from last year. But on top of that, they've still made it really easy for you to just literally change your planet, put your base anywhere you want. Maybe it's still a bit limiting to some people or too generic in some of the build pieces. And for sure, the electricity update they added definitely pissed off a large proportion of the fan base. They felt it was overcomplicating things and meant that some of their bases became redundant or would need an absolute ton of work to make them actually work. But No Man's Sky does offer depth, it offers now reasons to have a proper base. I think it should be up there a little bit higher. Number two, and I can't believe this got number two spot, Conan Exiles with 26%. Well then again, maybe I can believe it. Conan Exiles does have some fantastic build pieces. It's got various different sets, and particularly if you're willing to cough up the money for DLC, it offers a full range of things that you can build. From tree houses to arenas, arched corridors, dungeons, you name it. Even with just the base build sets, it's pretty unique. 
and at the time having triangles was a one-up against Art Survival Evolved. The sheer choice in decorative items and the things that you can do also mean that Conan Exiles is miles ahead of some of the other games. And of course you do need to build your bases pretty robustly to keep away the purge, the PvE element that comes into the game, and of course other players when you're playing on PvP servers. Your bases actually have to be functional, not just against players, but the gods themselves. I think Conan Exiles probably hasn't won though, because it's still actually just a bit easy. When you think about all the DLC that's been added in, sure it makes you able to build whatever you want and look even more fantastic. But it kind of takes away some of the creativity, because some of the pieces are literally archways and big stone gates that have curves. It suffers a little bit like Citadel Fall Through Fire, that the creative freedom or the ways that you have to build is maybe not as imaginative. The sets are there, you've got the pieces, you can build them, but it doesn't require as much brain power as something like Art Survival Evolved. I'll give Conan Exiles its due though, I personally still think it's still the best building game. But yep, Ark has won it 59% of the vote, this triggered quite a lot of people, and I can definitely see why. As I've mentioned, Conan Exiles has got far much more detail in its build pieces, but there's no doubt about it. The most massive videos you've seen in terms of content on YouTube, it's all come from Ark Survival Evolved. The builds, the boats, the just huge castles, reenactments of famous buildings. No other game has had as much as Ark Survival Evolved has in the last few years in these nominations. And with their update, the Homestead update that finally added triangles and a few more quality life improvements, the building really kicked on another gear. I love builds in Ark, I love touring what you guys have done, hence why I did so many videos with you guys. The tree houses, the content, most of it all been for free. In fact, the only additional build set we've properly had was Scorched Earth, and that came pretty much as a package when you bought it on the PlayStation 4. Primitive Plus is pretty much abandoned and not in a good shape, but the mod that's available for everyone free does offer even more build piece choices. It's just a shame they actually got rid of some of them, it was conflicting too much with the main game. But undoubtedly, Art Survival Evolved does offer the most creative freedom. It's got the widest choice of content in terms of builds. It has its limitations for sure, but again, there are proper uses for your bases if you play PvP. Admittedly, it's more about building turret towers than it is building impenetrable defaults. Ark definitely still has the biggest player base, and it definitely has one of the biggest and best building systems. Conan lets you build fantastic castles, forts, and lots and lots of great visual stuff. It's got much more better detail and it's got much more choice and variety, notwithstanding the free mods of course though, that flood Ark Survival Evolved and change the game even more and add even more building abilities. So Ark has to use your imagination if you're playing the base game, but there's so much more you can do in terms of creating stuff and that's why Ark wins it. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, let me know, make sure you like it, go and check out all the other guides and a big shout out to all the helpers and everyone that give me their footage or done tours with me including TLC, Crazy Man, Anin and a bunch of other guys as well, so thank you so much. If you've got some decent pictures of your base in any game, come and join my Discord and post them in the base screenshots and I'll share them out on Twitter. Thanks a lot guys, see you later.